Hello, and welcome to Tougher, a thief fan mission by... Wait a minute, this isn't the Dark Engine. This isn't the Dark Mod. This is... Dreams? Yeah, 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 theatrical confusion aside, this is a thief fan mission. Made in Dreams on the PlayStation. PlayStation 4, presumably. Because I think this was out before the PlayStation 5 was released, but never mind. Whichever way, I'm running it on the PlayStation 4. Um, I should, before I jump straight into the mission and start wandering around, I should be reading out the briefing and stuff, right? Um, so. This is, this is called Taffer. It is a uh, homage to Thief by Drew Jalala. Playable in Dreams on PS4 and PS5. Got a lead from Lucky Larry about Lord Buford's estate. Buford is said to be quite the recluse since Lady Guinevere loved him months back. I'm not one to kick someone when they're down, but Lord Buford's reputation is anything but charitable. Buford is a collector of ancient priceless artifacts. One in particular called my eye, an ornate mask from ancient Etra. Larry says Buford recently acquired it at auction. The mask is said to be possessed, but uh, rumors of the supernatural haven't stopped me before. I could fence it for quite a tidy sum. There should be all manner of trinkets in the place, so I'll have to do some sneaking around. According to Larry, the mansion is fairly quiet tonight, so I shouldn't have too much trouble. I'll have to find a way into the place, but there should be a few options. A perfect job for an old thief. And let's review my equipment. I have a piece of clubs, a trusty blackjack. Uh, you know, aiming up because I can't, otherwise I can't see it against the dark ground. I have infinite number of broadhead bolts. Okay. I have 20 extinguisher bolts. And that's it. Oh, and then uh, utilities. I've got my trusty lockpicks. 10 flash bombs. 10 moss pods. Okay. 2 health potions. Alright, well, uh, I can see some guards up there by the front door. One second. Do I have a zoom in control? Sadly, I don't seem to. Objectives find a way to Lord Buford's manor, steal a mask of Etra, steal at least 1100 worth of loot. Lord Buford is a collector of rare musical recordings, steal all five gramophone recordings of the Brixtel Symphony, of the Brixtel Symphony Orchestra. Rumour has it there's an original Orland Karras painting in the house. The Temple at Twilight. Steal it. Once all objectives are complete, get back to the front gate to make your escape. Ah, here's my inventory. Just describing things, yes. Extinguisher bolts have water at the front. Yes, yes, they have water arrows. We know how water arrows work. And as you can see, I've got a light gem. Do I not have a run option? L2 is run. Oh yeah, running makes me highly visible. But that's okay. I'm a long way from those guards that... Hello, we've got a scaffold here, that might be a good way in. Take a look around the back first. Now my thief instincts tell me I'm making tons of noise on this grass, and, but I really don't know. It's footsteps sound the same regardless of whether I'm walking or running, so... I guess if I crouch, they're much quieter, so if I crouch I know I'm being sneaky. Alright, we have a back door that's unguarded. Oh, there is a guard. Over on the patio. And there's some balconies up there too. Well, I can't see any way to climb up to the balconies. And I don't have any rope crossbow bolts. Well, I'm going to 
skip the back door. I'm gonna try the scaffolding. Take me onto the second floor. Hopefully there should be less guards around up there because um, you know, nobody expects thieves to break in on the upper floor, right? They, they come in on the ground floor. As uh, once his face told Benny, you have to stop them before they get inside. Is that uh, bad? I'm not sure how that works. I can walk slowly and not make much noise with footstep sounds. Mantling. It's me accidentally falling off the scaffold like a, like a good taffer. Can I do anything with those? Can I just mantle in there anyway? I guess I can and I just knock the, the, the wooden bits down. Okay. I don't like how bright it is here. I like the idea of having this as a nice safe corner. So let's extinguish that light. Inside at last. Just stay away. Well, this room looks pretty clear. Note on the table, there's hearing footsteps from somewhere. Seems to be over that way. I don't know if anybody comes in and out of this room. That's the uh, reason I'm being a little careful. The other thing is, uh, unlike in Actual Thief, I'm going to read, read something in this. It uh, does not pause time, which means you have to be reading a letter and be willing to still listen for footsteps and stuff. Moira. Don't you be forgetting that Lord Buford's study is off limits for everyone, even us servants. I know it seems a wee bit strange that we can't go in so many rooms in this house no more, but that not be any concern for us, you understand? And another thing, I don't want you to be hearing any I don't want to be hearing any more gossip about the Lord being touched in the head. He's your master and his business is none of ours. Housekeeper Rosamond. Can I read the plaque? No. Right, there's no footsteps nearby now. We have a fireplace that's double-sided. Can't extinguish the candle by hand. Nothing in there. Alright, let's uh, throw one of these in here. Does anybody hide loot in their chimneys? There's a guard walking back and forth up there. Wow, sound is very strange. Sounds very loud. He stopped walking. Oh, I'm so tired. Sounds like you walk walking around the room. OK. 
Okay, so no great surprise. <clears throat> no great surprise that we don't have like uh, proper hello. Proper audio dispersion, I can see, but that's. I was not expecting it. Here's the stairs we came in by. Oh, we can just look through the door. <laughs> we put our hand up on things, see, floor style. Alright, here's the main hall, I guess, main entrance hall. It's like guards wandering up and down. Oh, there's more guards. Trying to make sure I know where the flash bombs are. So I guess I can go around that main hall, right? Well, I might be better to go through the room here, right? But we know we can hear the guy coming and going. Let's go through this room. Okay, he's going to the left. Thank goodness I'm wearing my headphones, because I would not have heard someone coming from a different direction. So I guess that's... It's either Moira or uh, Housekeeper Rosamond. Alright, there's the card coming back. So that's the doors I heard him open, the big double doors up there. Trolls around that way, he head the same way that the servant went. And I guess it probably comes back the same way. <clears throat> Wait and watch a bit. I guess I could put out another one of these lamps if I need shadow in the hallway. They're very generous with the extinguished box. But I'm not sure how many I'm going to need overall. Let's do it. Let's give myself a... Oh. Dark corner. Not good thing they're generous with them because I wasted one. And I don't have quick save and quick load. So I need to be not making mistakes. At least not fatal mistakes. Now, I could move forward, but yeah, the guard went that way, the servant went that way. I don't want to be running into p two people at once. The end of my shift. Right, well, he goes out that way for a while. Now we should check out this room. Now, let's go this way. Yeah, it's nice and dark here. What have we got here? Master bedroom. It's locked and I'm going to need a key. I can't pick it. Okay. So I don't know where that servant went, but... Not in here. Right. 
Oh, the glass is made. Like, Dreams doesn't do actual transparent materials. So they're kind of faked, but that kind of looks like bottle glass. It's been a long day. Okay, she went right past. The guard is also coming from the left there. I can't wait for the end of my shift. Money. Precise aiming with the controller. Always, always fun. What's this tell us? Someone's been playing cards here as well. Gents, it came to my attention that the key to the Lord's Chambers was misplaced. This is unacceptable. If you lot spent less time gambling and chasing chambermaids and more time on your duties, this would never would have happened. Every last one of you is best be searching high and low for that key. If it isn't found before the Lord returns, then all you lot will be searching for employment instead. Captain Rufus. I can't forget to get Betty to give me the money he owes me. Yeah, you better get Benny to give you the money he owes you. He's, uh... That's a guard's helmet. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything else of value in here. So the servant went off that way. What do we got here? Oh, there's a guard there. He's walking away from me. Okay, that's the main hall. That's the same guard. It's not closing the door. It's giving me the prompt, but it's not doing it. Can't be picked. Okay, that's the balcony. Ooh, if we're careful, we can make the jump over to there, I guess, but. Hang on, how can... I came in by this area. How come I didn't see that balcony door? Let's stay quiet here. Oh, this is the master bedroom, where the key was lost. Okay, let's... So let's see if we make that jump. We don't need to make that jump, there's a ledge. There's a ledge, he says, as he uh, completely misses it. Also, for some reason, I thought I came in right here, but now this is the back door. Well, God, this grass, grass sounds as noisy as gravel. Let's try going in the back door. I wonder. I can do experiments because I've got infinite of these. Can I? Nope, it just bounces off the light. Sad. That would be nice if I could uh, destroy lights. Yeah, that looks like a storeroom. Ah, oh, it's locked. This one I don't need a key for. This one I can pick. Inside at last. Again. Those, those are weird, those are not re reliably uh, opening and closing. Hello? Is there any good wine here? There is indeed. And obviously we know the green bottles are bad wine. That's, that's the cheap wine, it's not worth taking. Yeah. Good to see they've built up so the old thief instincts still work. Do we have a loot? Total, we have a loot total, 150. 
That's footsteps there. Well, it doesn't seem like anybody's coming in. Can't take the food. Cecil, I need you to go to Mark for some provisions for the banquet. Lord Buford so graciously gave us one whole day to prepare for. Ten pounds celery, ten pounds carrots, fifteen pounds lime shank, twenty pounds beef, fifteen pounds fresh salmon. No guests or visitors for almost a year, and now out of the blue, a banquet. I hope he appreciates how fast we've had to scramble for this. Wishful thinking. Chef Randall. I guess it's the servants' quarters. To staff. Preparations for the banquet are barely underway. As you know, Lord Buford has sealed off the ballroom to all since the mysterious renovations a few months ago. Despite this, we are to prepare the feast using the dining hall as a staging area. When guests arrive, they are to be escorted inside five at a time. Are there even... Right, just, just carrying. Uh, are there even tables in there anymore? Do not bother asking me for any further information. I am as in the dark. As you all are, Chef Randall. Wash up, yay! We can we can pretend to be uh, Geralt instead of Garrett. I mean, we're not Garrett. We're we're Artemis Taffer, the Master Thief. Ooh, that looks like noisy tile floor. I don't want to get that one. What I want to try and find is the stairs up that I saw. I guess that's on this corner, in this, this direction. Oh, is that a valuable silver teapot? No. It's not valuable. Okay. Alright, it's the seven all the way around. Is that a valuable silver teapot? It looks the same, so I'm gonna guess no. And not risk trying to break that thing, right? What have we got here? Ooh, silverware though. Well, good thing I was Taking precautions, he just kind of stopped and opened the door and looked in. And he might do that there as well. Hello. Another fireplace I could uh, would be worth spending one of these on. Looks like some kind of hidden room here with. Oh, this is just a chimney. And a secret. Well, let's keep stealing this valuable silverware. We were, what, 150 before we found all that stuff? And before we took all the knives and forks? Ooh, and the platter. There's swords up above that mana piece. I wonder if I can get them. Five hundred and forty loot. way too high. So if those are stealable, they're not going to be stealable by me right now.
don't know where the guard walks, but it does sound like he walked around this way. It's a bus, not a guard. Is it valuable? It is not. It's worthless. Worthless junk. Because I could go and knock the guards out, but then where's the stealthy fun in that? Okay. Oh, the guard was... Okay, I thought he was over this side of the building, but no. walking down that way should not be a problem for me. I feel like I should be at the staircase now, right? Oh, and the guard goes away. Okay, so I was trying to get into the master bedroom. So let's try and resume. Let's try and do that again. A servant and the guard wandering around up here as well to watch out for. We've got my dark corner. don't know is where the guard is, whether they're that way or this way. So this way, it could be disastrous to head that out there. Maybe you should also try going through this door. Oh, it might be locked as well. Oop, that sounds like a guard. And the servant. Everybody, party time. Everybody come all at once. Okay, she's going in there. Yeah, I'm gonna need the red key for the red door, right? Patiently waiting for the guard to come back. Probably should have gone. The longer I leave it, the less safe it gets, right? Alright, now I can hear him. My shift. You and me both, buddy. Okay, so out here was the balcony door. So the other guys are all wandering around, I think. Okay, I wonder if I can do this successfully this time. The way the sound travels in this is uh, very disconcerting for uh, when I'm in thief mode. So this is, if I could quick save, this is where I would quick save, because, you know, 
All right, we're on the ledge this time. Let's try and stay on the ledge. Oh, that guy is facing this way now. He's been facing that gap in the the stairway before, but he's turned. Could be all right. Ah, I can pick this door, even if the front door cannot. Good, good. A proper thief. When the key to the main door is lost, go in the side. Right, and we're not going to get disturbed in here because there's no. All the keys were lost, right? Hello? That's a key. We have the second floor gallery keys, isn't the right? Glasses, which are not valuable. And another, uh, there's a letter opener. That's valuable. Read the book in a second. What's it say? September, September 13, year of Ash, 847. The mask speaks to me. How can such things be true? Last night in the study, I heard a voice calling from beyond. I thought it first to be Guinevere, but she was already in bed asleep. I soon realized it was the mask, seemingly speaking directly to my mind. Astounding! My whole life I've been enthralled by Etra, and now, incredibly, I can converse with the ancients. The legends are true. I will keep this to myself for the time being. I sense the mask has many wondrous things to tell, meant only for my ears. September 21, year of Ash, 847. The mask is wise. I shall not divulge its wisdom to anyone. Not Guinevere, not even to these pages. My dear wife would not understand. September 28. I have done as I was asked to do. The local artisan Garrett has fashioned the face as well as replicas of the original. I did not believe the binding ritual would work. The face now serves as the true vessel for the souls and has imbued each replica mask with life. I will host a grand banquet. Many will come from the village and the lesser masks too will have their vessels. Sounds spooky, that is not a valuable painting. Must remember to check galley for misplaced study key. I believe it fell from my pocket during the ritual. Ritual? What ritual? Close both at once. Hello. Are those valuable records we're supposed to seal? There's one. Wow, he's, this guy's fancy. He's got a <laughs> toilet was ringing it. Well, I'll take the ring. But he's got a flush toilet. He must be flush with cash. Very cool screen. That's the car walking by. He doesn't come in here. Hello, that looks valuable. Right, the first fireplace I've seen that I'm not going to crawl into. How about that? Hello? I left a pouch of money and a coin on this table. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so I just found a key there, a second floor gallery, but it's not going to open this door, is it? No, it's not. Unless keys are in here, I don't, I don't think I have to do keys manually, I think it just unlocks, allows me to open the door. Back the way we came then. I guess he must change his facing every now and again, because now he's facing inwards. I 
Well, we can try the same trick over this side, I guess, and get into that room. Seems like a good... Probably a good idea, right? It's locked. So, is this a Lady Quinnifer's bedroom, maybe? Or is this a guest bedroom? I don't know, but I think maybe the servant was heading this way. He says, yes, absolutely, the servant was heading this way. Hello? Don't make me knock you out. Did I see something? Oh, my eyes, I can't see! Don't knock him out from behind. Well, we... <laughs> She had a key. What was that key? She had the bedroom key, okay. Well, hopefully the guards didn't come in here. I'm not sure how she saw me in the dark, because it looks... Whoops. Wrong button. It looked like I was pretty hidden there. But then I don't know how to read this light gem very well. Anyway, uh... It's been a long day, but now the day is over for the servant. Hello? Extremely fiddly aiming. Uh, things that may be hard to do in a sensible fashion when you're not riding your own engine, but building off someone else's that was definitely not built around stealth games. October and 23, year of Ash, father has changed. At first I believed it to be grief over mother's leaving, but now I feel it is something more. He spends hours in his study inspecting that mask. As I was passing outside the door last night, I could hear a voice from within. The house was empty but for the staff, yet father was conversing with someone. I couldn't resist the urge to spy the keyhole. Father was talking to the mask. What was truly disturbing was it seemed father was listening for a response to his ramblings as if the mask spoke only to his ears. I miss mother. She left so abruptly, and now I realize father's madness must have been the reason. Father did not tell me where she was going, but most likely the summer house in Volanta. I will make arrangements to join her there soon. So let's see. You better not forget to get Penny's cube. Apparently the hearing is so good they can hear footsteps that I can't. Okay. Seems to have been going away. Also not a valuable point in. Check these. I can't remember. Well, even if I didn't, they're empty. Okay, we're back here now. Wait a second. I say back here, but I have not been here before. Oh wow, he goes in that bedroom too. I just stands. I can't wait for the end of my shift. Just stands in the doorway to check it. Okay. So I haven't been here before. So when I say I'm back here, I'm lying. 
Also, those extinguisher bolts are so hard to aim precisely, and it's fair enough. No wonder they're generous with them. This is where it was, right? Yeah. So I got a key. Is this the second full floor galley gallery? Oh, there's a mask. That must be the study. No, this is a gallery. Interesting. So this was the ritual. Excerpt from Compendium, Compendium of the Supernatural World, Volume 7. The following is a partial translation. Do you mind? I'm trying to read. The following is a partial translation of the Etran Funeral Ritual Text. Taken from logographic images found within the ancient temple of Karth, this ritual text is believed to be connected to the creation of the Etran faces. Soul of the unjust, born of the night sky, Descend upon dark earth, torn from life's embrace, rage against the cold end. Bind to the empty shell, find life anew within. Missing portion due to damaged logograms. Face of life reborn, lend past thought to living kings. There is consensus amongst doctors of ancient philosophy that this ritual text concerns the binding of human souls to a physical object. The entrant faces are believed to be the empty shells referenced in the text. The text has thus far not been found repeated in any other location in Etra, suggesting that this ritual was not widely practiced. Well, I can't steal these masks. What? There is like a key there. It won't let me close. The binding ritual works. The mask has communicated to me the missing portion of the translation from the compendium. I must document it and use it for Guinevere. I did what I was asked. I can save her. Well, I don't want to stand in the middle, because that seems like a bad idea, even if the ritual is not actually happening. Yeah, it's not going to let me close. Alright, well, that's creepy. Maybe he's coming this way. I can't forget to get Fetty to give me the money he owes me. This is not a very effective lean. <laughs> it's not enough sideways movement and too much roll. But it's kind of funny. I can't wait for the end of my shift. This guy just can't do anything. He can't wait, he can't forget, he can't catch me, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, he probably can catch me if I'm careless. Alright, so... Look, I can actually see through the keyholes. That's very cool. You don't need to use your magic through the keyhole looking ability. Okay, so this is the red side of the house, so that's going to be the main hall again, right? And this is the bedroom. Well, I'm wondering where the guard is. Yeah, I thought I heard something. There's footsteps nearby. There he is. So he seems to be just patrolling clockwise. I can't 
Wait for the end of my shift. Does he have a purse that I could be pickpocketing? Hard to say, maybe, maybe. Something to worry about later. Now let's take advantage of his uh, momentarily not being here. There's a matching staircase. So we had a bedroom key, and this is another bedroom, but we clearly is not not the right one. Ooh, goblet. Take that. How are we doing for loot? 840. We're getting closer. Goal is 1100. Novabrun 6, Year of Ash. I must leave this cursed place at once. When Mother suggested I summer with Uncle Archimedes, I relished the opportunity. A summer in the hills at a palatial estate? If I knew then, what a nightmare it would be. Uncle was a joy at first, and Aunt Guinevere was so kind and warm. Then Uncle's prized possession arrived. One at auction, one of the fabled masks of Etra on... Oh, fuck. I can't see! So he did have a key on him, which was the second floor west key, okay. This door was locked! You, how come you came in this room when the door was locked and it should have still been locked? Well... <laughs> um, are you alright mate? You've got you've got too much physics happening. <laughs> Let's try it again. Maybe 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 put you on the bed. Even though it's the nephew's bed. Well, it didn't work, but that's fine. You're not you're not flopping about, making lots of noise now. All right, where was I? Before I was so rudely interrupted. Um. One at auction, one of the fabled masks of Etra, or some such. Uncle was obsessed. Days spent laughing and enjoying each other's company on the terrace were replaced with quiet nights alone in my room. Uncle began to spend more and more time alone in his study, analysing the ancient mask. I'd find Aunt Guinevere in the library, sadly wandering the stacks. It wasn't long after that she left without a word. I cannot bring myself to write anymore. Uncle has become paranoid and I suspect he has read my journal. I've arranged a coach for early tomorrow morning. I will leave this place and never return. But you left your journal behind. That's just a couple of books. What's that? Well, two less interruptions, I guess, now that I've knocked out the guards that uh, interrupted me. That won't be a problem again. Did I check this? I did check this, right? Yeah, that's where the uh, goblet was. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about this guard who was patrolling around here anymore. I do not have a key for that room. Ah, but... Oh, this is a different room. The other one was across the hall. But still, that works. Hello, somebody left their wallet. Piece now, just a wallpaper. Hello. Always check the chimneys. 
Ooh, nice wine. There's the loot objective. Okay, well, we still have to get the mask. We got another key, which was the library key. Okay. Augustus II, what fortune to come into possession of such a fabled artifact. I have studied ancient Etra since I was a boy, a civilization so advanced for its era. Stories about the ancient Etrans filled my young mind with wonder. Their understanding of science and the supernatural world rivals our own. The mask is magnificent. The craftsmanship would put modern artisans to shame. Through my extensive research, I've learned much about the funeral ritual in which the mask was used. Ancient writings speak of personas which serve as vessels for the souls of the dead, with multiple souls being bound to a single vessel. These soul amalgams would possess all the knowledge and wisdom of the individuals within. What purpose these masks ultimately served is unknown. Were they merely holy relics to be worshipped? Did priests and priestesses commune with the souls within? There are those that have claimed the masks speak directly to the mind. I put no stock in such things. But it fascinates me nonetheless. All right. Definitely some creepy going on with these masks, and Lady Guinevere vanished. You know, suspiciously, suddenly. However, this seems like a pretty good place to end the episode. So, um, I guess we'll find out more of the secrets of the masks next time. So, see you then.